Hi everyone, my name is Yilin Jia. I'm from University of Virginia. Today I will introduce our work, learning neural ranking models yes. online uh, from impressive user feedback. So let's get started. Uh, nowadays, result ranking is everywhere. It serves as a predominant interface between users and a massive amount of information. From the music we listen to, the restaurant we go to, or the jobs we apply, uh, they are almost all of them are presented as a form of a ranker result. And almost all these commercial web search engines are backend by learning to rank. So in learning to rank, each query document pair is represented by a feature vector, which may contain the query title text similarity or the document length. And the objective of learning to rank is to optimize a ranking-based loss function based on the labeled data. Traditional offline learning to rank models directly learn from manually labeled data, uh, for example, the X project annotations. However, to construct such a data set, it is very expensive and time consuming. And for some uh, applications such as personalized search, it is almost impossible to have such annotations. And recently, uh, online learning to rank has attracted a lot of attention. It directly trains a ranker on the fly by learning from user interactions, for example, users' clicks. It eliminates offline methods' heavy dependency on the manual annotations, and it can better capture users' information need. On the other hand, in the recent decades, thanks to the strong representation learning power, deep neural network made a significant strides in improving offline learning to rank model. Compared to a linear model, deep neural network can, is able to capture potential nonlinear relationship between queries and the documents. And it can handle the raw input data, which provides a system more flexibility and capacity in modeling complex relationships between a document and its relevant quality. However, almost all the existing online learning to rank models still assume a linear scoring function. There's a clear divide between the current online learning to rank solutions and the successful practices in offline solutions. This greatly restricts online learning to rank's real world impact. And in this work, we focus on bridging the gap between the online and offline learning to rank. Online learning to rank is not simply updating an offline model online. First, users' feedback is known to be biased and noisy. For example, for this position bias, uh, more clicks on top ranked documents does not mean more relevant. And for presentation bias, the user can only interact with the documents shown to them. Therefore, the non clicked document is not necessarily irrelevant. Therefore, as the model is learning while serving the users, it needs to balance the exploitation and exploration. For exploitation, the system needs to present the best result estimated so far to satisfy users. And for exploration, the system needs to present currently underestimated results to best improve the ranker. However, exploration for online learning to rank is non-trivial. Due to the combinatorial property of the ranking, the search space, in fact, is exponentially large. So effective, efficient, and efficient exploration for online learning to rank is critical. There's a lot of work proposed in progress uh, to perform the exploration in online learning to rank. They can, categorize, they can broadly categorize into several uh, directions. The first line of work explores in the model space. They directly learn the best ranker by random sampling in the model space. However, this type of work cannot directly optimize any rank-based matrix, and the random exploration costs high variance and high regret. And uh, such random exploration on the model space, in fact, is in very ineffective for deep neural network. The second type of work is explored by result perturbation. This type of work directly distorts the rank result. However, uh, and the theoretical property of the deep neural network, the neural rank model is still unknown. In this work, we propose a pairwise exploration ranking policy for online learning to rank. Our key insight is for any ranking, 
it can be decomposed into a series of pairwise comparisons. And we only need to explore the pairs where currently the rank is still uncertain about their orders. For example, assume, assuming we have six documents and uh, uh, the documents are the documents are connected with some certain rank orders, which means that the model is certain about uh, the uh, preference between any two documents uh, between these connected documents. And in this example, we have three uncertain rank orders, uh, and we only need to perform the exploration on these three uh, uncertain rank orders. For all the other certain rank orders, we only need to exploit the estimate the, the pairwise preference. In order to do such pairwise exploration, we have to answer uh, two questions. The first, we need to estimate the pairwise preference. And the second, we need to quantify the uncertainty of our estimation to determine whether the pairwise preference is certain or uncertain. First, we adopt a rank net as the unit ranker which is uh, one of the most popularly used model. And uh, we use a multi-layer multi -layer perception structure for the neural network, where the M and the L are the width and depth of the neural network. Here is the loss function for learning the neural, rank, neural ranker at a time step T. So we use all the data collected so far to train the model and we'll use this cross entropy loss between the estimated pairwise preference and the observed pairwise preference. In order to perform this uncertainty-based exploration, we need to quantify the model's confidence about its estimation. The source of the uncertainty is the click noise. We assume that for all the examined documents, the clicks are independent from each other, and the pairwise noise follows uh, sub Gaussian distribution. Based on this, we leverage the most advanced technique, neural tangent kernel method, to analyze, analyze the uncertainty of the neural network. We have the uncertainty of this estimation bounded like this. So the uncertainty depends on the model's estimation error and the gradient of the neural network. With the constructed uncertainty with high probability, the true pairwise rank order satisfies this. So our the uh, the first the left side is the lower confidence bound of our estimation, and the right side is the upper confidence bound of our estimation. Now we can separate the document pairs into two sets: the certain rank order and uncertain rank order. Uh, now let's see an example. Uh, suppose we have two document pairs: document IJ and document I prime J prime. This y-axis is the probability that the first document is better than the second document. And here, this uh, blue bar is our estimated pairwise preference, and the gray rectangular is the confidence interval of our estimation. So for document pair, uh, for, uh, for document pair i and j, we consider it as a certain rank order because its lower confidence bound is larger than 0.5. Uh, for 0.5, it means that uh, the two documents have the same relevance to the query. So if uh, the lower confidence bound is larger than 0.5, it means that uh, the true rank order is consistent with our estimated order. But for document pair I prime and J prime, we consider it as an uncertain rank order because uh, our estimated uh, rank order is I prime is more relevant than J prime. However, uh, the true rank order might fall in this area, which indicate that uh, the J prime is uh, more relevant than I prime. In other words, the true rank order may present an opposite uh, rank order compared to the estimated one. So we need to perform some exploration on this uh, pair so that the confidence interval can be shrinking and uh, uh, we can get more certain about our estimation. Now we introduce our pairwise ranking policy. With the constructed certain rank orders, we can create a document graph where each node is a document and the age are the certain rank orders. Due to this transitivity of the sigmoid function, such a graph in fact is a deck. Then we can perform a topological sort to generate the rank list. For example, in this, uh, assume we have six documents and we have these uh, certain rank orders here. 
And uh, to perform this topological sort, we first check the document A, because there's no in-link for this document. And uh, we put it uh, on the uh, ranking result. And this is equivalent to the exploitation in our ranking policy. Next, we will check the two documents B and C, because both of them uh, do not have these index. For these two documents, we will randomly pick one among these two documents. This is equivalent to the exploration on these uncertain rank orders. Then we move to the next step, and uh, currently our candidate document is C and D. We will do uh, the same to do a random pick to perform this exploration between these two, uh, this uncertain rank order. And next, we compare the document pair E and F to randomly pick one to perform the exploration. Finally, we generated this ranked list. And based on our uh, on this example, in fact, we can generate uh, other uh, possible ranked results. Uh, this is because of all this uh, random pick uh, in our exploration strategy. So in this way, uh, we perform the we balance this exploration, exploration and exploitation. We directly uh, follow the certain rank orders, and uh, we also perform this uh, random explore the exploration for these uncertain rank orders. To analyze the theoretical property of our proposed ranking policy, we perform a regret analysis. The regret is defined as the non cumulative accumulated the number of misordered pairs from the presented ranking to the ideal one. And we proved a gap-dependent regret upper bound for our uh, proposed ranking policy. We also extended the neural ranker to lambda rank, which directly optimized the rank, ranking matrix NDCG. So lambda rank naturally fits our solution. Uh, for a given pair of documents, the confidence interval of lambda rank estimation can be calculated by gradient of the neural network in the same way as a rank net. The key limitation of this extension is lambda rank does not have explicit objective function, so it is difficult for this regret analysis. Next, I will introduce our empirical analysis. We first simulate user clicks for the online uh, learning to rank. We employ a depend dependent click model to generate user clicks. We use a different set of click probability and stop probability to simulate different kinds of user behaviors. And here, is our, here are the baselines. So we uh, compare our, our model with all the existing uh, state-of-the-art online learning to rank models, the during band gradient descent and the PDGD. We have both the linear and the neural model. We also implied a one layer rank net for comparison. This model can be viewed as a linear model. And we have this lambda rank with ground truth relevance labels for uh, of all documents. This can be viewed as the ideal ranking model. So our first uh, experiment evaluated the offline performance of our model. So in this evaluation, we evaluated the render ranker on an offline fully labeled testing set every time when the ranker is updated. So this can be viewed as an evaluation on the convergence of our model. And we can see this significant improvement of our proposed model compared to all the other baselines. And our neural model, in fact, also shows some improvements uh, compared to this linear model. Next, we evaluate our, the online performance of our proposed model. So we accumulated the learned rankers performance on the served result to uh, uh, show the online performance. This can be viewed as the user experience. And we can also observe this significant improvement of our proposed model uh, to the other existing uh, online learning to rank baselines. To further verify the effectiveness of our exploration strategy, we reported the ratio of certain rank orders among all possible document pairs at the top 10 positions in our model. We can clearly observe that the certain rank orders quickly reach a promising level, and this confirms our theoretical analysis of the convergence of the model. So in this paper, we introduced to, we focused on learning neural ranker online with implicit user feedback. 
We propose a topological thought ranking policy with respect to the model's uncertainty. In this way, we balance the exploration and exploitation for online learning to ramp. Theoretically, we proved that the pairwise uncertainty-based exploration is e efficient, and we proved a sublinear regret bound, which defined on the cumulative number of misordered pairs. Empirically, we proved that our proposal model can faster improve the ranking quality on the different click patterns. And the neural network, can, we can use this neural network to unleash the power of representation learning, and the empirical result supports our theoretical analysis. This work is supported by National Science Foundation and the Google Faculty Research Award. Here's the reference, and uh, thank you very much.